Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers, to another snapshot video. This is 18W09A, and we now have Coral Blocks. So, as you can see here, I've placed a few around the world. They look pretty normal, pretty standard, nothing special. But one of the things with these is that these are living blocks. So, if you place them above ground, any of them, you get dead coral no matter what color you placed. So, they do have a limitation. If you want to build with these, you're going to have to put a water source behind it. Which, in all honesty, if you're building on a big enough scale, that won't be a problem, or underwater will not be a problem at all. Another thing that was recently added is underwater structures. These underwater structures um, can either be individual pieces or large areas like the one I am showing you guys here. Um, the thing with them, though, is that if some of these have loot, but they're never on the, uh, they're never visible. They're always hidden away and they have randomized things right now um it appears to me that each of these always seems to have one um so yep that one had a fishing rod in it and another cool thing about this is that they some of these actually have sea lanterns which has been notoriously difficult to get but every single one of these has a sand block that will spawn on top of it i've gone around and found a few of them already just so i can show you guys them um so they have basically the same loot, a couple precious items, wheat, coal, fishing rods, basic, basic things. Um, if we can actually fly over here, though, and go straight down from here, you will see that they can spawn underground as well. They still have loot like the other ones do, same type of loot. Um, they are planning to add a treasure into these, but they don't have the treasure into the game yet, so don't expect to find anything too special. But yeah, guys, this is the warm variant for the biome. Uh, they have new coral blocks, which in my opinion, they look quite highly saturated, but I believe they could be used in almost like playful builds. Like imagine you're building life-size toys in the game or you're building unique structures. Like these will work very well, I think, and they look very nice. Um, other changes to the game is to do with the new phantom mob which is right here spawn egg these will despawn um in daytime but they also seem to avoid skylight which is quite hilarious because these mobs will actually drown underwater so i believe they'll start taking damage any second now but another big update to this is that they no longer spawn in the end there was a lot of talk about how these will be difficult because you can't sleep in the end, so you can't reset your insomnia meter. So if you're in the end for more than, oh, an hour, you'll start getting phantom spawns. See, this one despawned right in front of us, even though we were way too close for it to despawn normally. So that's fantastic. You won't have to deal with these during the day. Is that, yep, that was just a sea lantern. I was wondering what the glowing was. But yeah, guys, so basically... Coral blocks have been added, they need a water source, or else they turn to dead coral. Phantom mobs despawn in the overworld, and they don't spawn in the end. Hallelujah. They have underwater relics, uh, ruin structures, that have treasure that is always hidden. There's always a sand block on top of these. I have found, I think, six or seven treasure chests so far. I've found other ruins. Um, none of them were this nice, though, so I went with this one. And they've all had sand blocks on top of them. These huts almost always have a treasure chest and yeah guys so that's gonna be it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this i will catch you guys back here with the next snapshot this is 18w09a i'm somebody at gaming to remember if you could please like comment subscribe down below i'd love to meet you guys in the comments and talk about the applications for these brand new blocks i'll catch you guys back here with the next one goodbye